In the previous tutorial, we learned how to capture live. In this one, we'll see how to tag live. Before we press on record, let's quickly import a tagging panel, so we'll be set and ready to tag the match. Click on Panel. Then choose a previously imported custom tagging panel. Or click on New, to use one of the default preset tagging panels within Dartfish 10. Select the corresponding sport. Then go under Game Action, to display the tagging panel. We are now ready to record the match, and tag live. Press Ctrl plus Q, or click on the red button at the top left of the workspace to start the recording. Great! The camera is now recording the match within Dartfish 10, leaving you the option to analyze it while it is being recorded. All added events and tagged moments will be directly linked to the corresponding timecodes. If you don't need the video player window, you can remove it by toggling the on field mode icon. This will give more space to the tagging panel, the events panel and the reports panel. Toggle the icon back and forth to jump between the two view modes. Grab the cursor and see a past action you want to rewatch. One key feature of the live workspace is enabling you to navigate freely in the timeline while the camera is still recording. Do you want the playback to show what is happening right now on the field? Then click on the live button at the far left of the timeline. If you single-click on an event, the playhead will then jump to the corresponding time of this event. Single-click on another event to jump to that other tagged moment of the game. However, if you double-click on an event, the timeline will then only show the duration of this event. This is called the event mode of the timeline. You can navigate through the timeline of this event and play it back. While in the event mode, if you click on any other tagged event, the timeline will only show the duration of the selected event. This one lasts 6 seconds. Click on the left arrow at the top left in order to jump from the restrained timeline of the event mode to the full timeline of the video mode. Or, you can also click on the live icon at the bottom left of the video playback window. This will also lead you back from the event mode to the video mode of the timeline. Once the match is over and you're done tagging, Stop the recording by clicking on the red square on the top left of the screen. Once the recording is stopped, the presenter mode is automatically opened and offers the possibility to quickly check the recording video. Two advanced settings can be customized when clicking on stop recording. They are available under Tools Options Advanced Scroll down to see the option here you can enable or disable open presenter mode after recording and enable or disable wait before stopping the recording. We can now click on analyze and replay to create reports based on the video we've just tagged live. And that's it for this tutorial. Now you know how to tag live.